Alright class, after yesterday's vigorous lesson of learning all the digits of pi, you all are going to be competing in a fun Sudoku challenge, and whoever finishes these first will get extra credit on their big math exam today. One hour later. And your test will begin now. Alright students, since we just finished our zoology unit on these important animals, today we are going to be examining the structure of our favorite planet Earth. So as you can see, there are seven continents. Alright class, today we will begin Unit 6, where we will be taking a look at the history and mass extinction of everyone's favorite species, the dinosaur! So today, we're actually going to be going on a very special field trip, where we time travel back to the Mesozoic era, and deeply examine the Triassic and Jurassic periods where dinosaurs thrived. Then we'll learn about their natural habitat, the food they ate, and... Good morning, English class. As you all may have realized, I've just gotten back from my maternity leave. So today, we're going to be learning something fun. For the next few days, we'll be reading this very interesting book about Rubik's Puzzles. Oh, and take out some notebook paper because we're going to be doing a five-page analysis on each chapter. Good morning, class. Today, we will be looking at my favorite unit in government, the United States National Security Agency. Is everyone excited? I am. Everyone take out your notes and copy the PowerPoint at the front of the room. Alright, who's excited for everyone's favorite class of the day, health! Today, we're going to be learning how to maintain a healthy, nutritious diet. First, make the cross. Good morning, physics class. Today, we're going to be traveling to an alternate dimension using the QIYI Dimensions Cube. In this dimension, gravity doesn't exist. I just broke it. I guess that's not physically possible, guys. Hello, my friends and students. Today, we will be learning about Chinese. So, I want you to repeat after me in this simple Chinese phrase. Mo Yu Wei Long Chi Yi Dian Dian Shang. Can anyone guess what that means? Yes! Would you like a glass of water? <laughs> Welcome, class! Today, we will be experimenting with nuclear acidic juice and seeing what will happen if we put it in a chemistry 3x3. Alright, everyone gather up front and watch! 3, 2, 1... <laughs> Hello, would anyone like to tell me who invented the first computer program technology? Yes, that is correct, Alexander GoCube. Can you tell me what he invented? Wow, how did you know? The GoCube. Today we will be looking at what all those wires do, and we'll be examining what happens when you plug this in. Good morning, class! Today, we will be learning how to reverse time. So, for all those procrastinators out there, now you have better time management. Oh, it looks like you're all dismissed. Have a good day, everyone! And make sure to study for today's pop quiz that I'll introduce in just a few hours. Ooh, I'm hungry. Who's ready to eat? Alright, now since a lot of you have been working very hard today in all of your classes, who wants to play basketball? Ooh, my team calls far end of court. You guys get first ball. Hello, my young aspiring chefs. Today, we are going to be learning how to make a banana. First, you slice it in half. Pop quiz! Would anyone like to tell me what caused the Great Depression in the 1940s? That's right! GAN! As many of you know, the Rubik's Cube company GAN Cube was very expensive back in the 1940s. But it was just so good! In fact, so many people bought this cube that banks had to shut down. They didn't have enough money left. Hello, young children. After yesterday's fun lesson of optical illusions, today we will be looking at paranormal activities and what happens when you look in mirrors for too long. As many of you know, back in the haunting age in the early 1930s, a scientist named Edwin Mirror decided he would do an experiment and see what happened when he looked into a mirror for 20 minutes. Only 17 minutes in, he began to hallucinate and see ghosts. Now, can any of you tell me why this is? Good morning, my young nerdlings. Now, we have a lot to get to today, so everyone pay attention. First, we'll learn how to design Rubik's Cubes out of paper. Next, we'll take notes on wastewater management, where we'll learn how to build pipes. Then, of course, we'll learn about the mechanical advantage of bearings. And finally, we'll take our long-awaited exam on gear ratios and the mechanical advantage of gears. Nah, I'm just kidding. Who wants to have recess and design houses out of Legos? Alright class, after yesterday's super fun lesson on the human skull, today we will be attempting to answer life's biggest mystery. Does size really matter? 